Yo, what is going on chat? Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make this effect. All right, I'm not going to waste any more of you guys' time. Let's get right into it. This old camcorder slash digital camera effect is one of my favorites. I love it so much. And let's get right into the video. All right, so first, we're going to go into the comp settings. We're going to change it to 5, 3, 4, and the height to 400. Now, let's put in our clip. All right, now that we have our clip, it's going to be like all weird and stuff. So now we're just going to right click on the clip and we are going to go to transform and bit to height. Now we're going to duplicate it twice. Control D twice. Boom, boom. So now we have three in total. Now we're going to go to toggle switches and modes and, and we are going to click on the top one normal and change it to luminosity and the bottom one as well to luminosity. And for the middle one, we're going to change it to color. All right, now we're going to be working with our middle clip first the color and we are going to add brightness and contrast we're going to put the brightness up a little bit maybe like up to 10 ish maybe even more a little bit depending on your clip but we just want to brighten it up just a tad not too much now we're going to add noise we're going to want to put this up to like 20 or more or less depending on how much noise you want but if we zoom in right now and we take it off and on we can see some noise it depends how much you want i'd recommend saying like 20 to like 25 i'm just gonna leave it at 22 for now now i'm gonna add in directional blur and i'm gonna change the direction to 90 and the blur length to 30. all right for the top clip we're gonna add in noise and black and white we're gonna change the amount of noise to seven and we are going to copy this by clicking on noise or one of them either one and control a this is a little pro tip control a selects everything so now we can copy with control c and paste with control v copy and paste the effects from the top clip and send them over to the bottom clip boom so now we have the same effects as the top one all right so now we're going to add in a directional blur to the bottom clip and we are going to change the direction to 90 and the blur length to seven boom done all right so now we're done with this section so now we are going to create a solid create a solid by pressing Control y change the color to white and press okay we're gonna add in a gradient ramp all right so now we're gonna change the start of ramp the right side to one three one and the end of ramp the one on the right one three one and now we're gonna click on start of ramp the left side zero and end of ramp left side to 4.5 boom so now we have this little like solid often like edge effect this is very common in vhs um we can mess around with the settings we could even increase it a little bit like give it that more like faded look or something this is what i'm gonna use um we could also mess around with giving like some bumps or something but i'm just gonna leave it as is but for now we're gonna go to toggle switches modes and change the blending mode to multiply and now we should have this effect all right so now we're gonna click on the white solid and hold shift and click on the bottom clip so we can highlight all of them and we are going to right click on it and pre-compose change it to like i don't know whatever name you want i'm gonna change it to clip and paste all right so now we're gonna go to the comp settings change the width to 768 and the height to 576 all right so now we're gonna right click on the clip and we are going to go to transform fit to comp now we are going to add an adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y i'm gonna leave this preset down below link in the description so you guys can like apply it quick and easy every single time you guys do this effect if you guys don't want to do that so first we're gonna use fast box blur we're gonna put the, the blur radius to one the iterations to three and repeat edge pixels now we're gonna want to put unsharp mask put the amount to 100 and radius to four we're gonna close that off we're gonna add some grain make sure to go to the viewing mode and put it to final output and we are going to put these settings on the screen now we are going to go to wave warp and we are going to put the wave type to smooth noise we're gonna put the wave height to three and the wave width to 40. We're going to put the direction to zero, wave speed to four, and the all edges. And we're going to put the pinning to all edges and anti aliasing to high. And we should be done with the effect. And to spice it up, if you guys want my free pack, I have it on my website. They're mostly VHS overlays. I have them for absolutely free. And if you buy the full pack, I have CRT overlays also on there as well. If you guys want a discount code, I'm going to have it right here on the screen. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.